Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I created this look I have on now. Um, it does include like a wet look kind of styled hair. Um, I just wanted to add to the effect of the like dewiness, like golden goddess look I'm going for today. So if you guys want to see how this turned out and what products I use, then continue watching. start off this look today I am going to put a bit of fake tan on my chest and my neck I might tr try and put a little bit on my face as well but not that it will matter because I'm going to put a foundation on that's going to match my neck anyway um so the fake tan that I am using today is the Bondi Sands Aero Ultra Dark um I haven't actually tried this yet um so I'm gonna see how it turns out today so I've got out of the shower I've moisturized and everything so this should go on quite nicely. So I'm literally using a Bondi Sands mitt as well. This is ultra dark. I literally am such a pale bitch. I am gonna add a little bit on my face, but I'm gonna use like a makeup brush and just buff it in. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty. Um, it's the NYMPH body highlighter in shade Aphrodite. The good thing about this as well, it does have like a tint as well, so it, it makes you look even more brown. Um, but what I do is I put this on a buffing brush. You can be quite generous with this, cause you know. I'm gonna literally be like a new woman after this. <laughs> so with this, you do have to like be patient with it work it into the skin so that it doesn't go patchy so that is my chest done if you can see like the light reflecting off it it does look a bit patchy at the minute but i feel like this lighting to make it look like when i look in the mirror it literally looks like smooth um so i'm just going to add this on my face now Next, I'm going to be using my Bye Bye Redness Neutralising Cream. So it's really good for neutralising any like pink areas, which I get obviously on my cheeks here, I get rosacea. And um, so I'm just going to pat a bit of that on with my Beauty Blender. So I am really happy with that cream. First time I've used it and it's completely covered my rosacea. Amazing. For foundation, I am going to use the NARS Ra Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in shade Vienna. It is a little bit pale for like where I've got fake tan on. So what I am going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of the um, Huda Beauty um, body shimmer in with it. And it just kind of like darkens it. But also because we want this to be like a dewy glow, um, we don't want it to be like matte we don't want it to be heavy um so i'm just going to use that to darken it and um, if you don't like have that you can just get like darkening drops or just use another dark foundation one that's not very mattifying you want one that's um like a radiant finish or sheer glow so i'm going to use my real techniques beauty blender and i'm just gonna squirt three pump four pumps of the nars foundation and then I'm gonna squirt two little squirts of this Huda Shimmer. That has come up quite light, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of the Milani Tan Foundation. Um, I love this foundation, this is what I use on all my clients. Um, it's really good for like girls who come into me with tan on because it's got the, literally the perfect shade to blend in with the neck so what I do is I kind of like add a few drops of that in with like their their original statement colour so I'm going to do that with mine even though I've patted it on with a beauty blender we do kind of want this full coverage but not so full coverage because we want it to look like a natural dewy glow so I'm just going to use circle motions with a fluffy brush and just like buff it into the skin I'm 
now that the base is done I am going to do concealer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer today in shade Porcelain Beige. I haven't actually used this yet, I've heard good things about it, um, but I have heard it's quite full coverage so I'm going to start off with a little bit and then just blend it in with my Beauty Blender again. So I'm just using a brush just to press this into the skin. Let's do the other side. Okay, next I'm gonna contour my jawline. We wanna get rid of those five, six chins that I've got. I'm only going to put a little bit though, because like you can see, it's just quite full coverage. I'm going to buff that out with a brush again. So I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead. Okay, so that's all the light contour done now. And so I'm gonna do the dark cream contour. So for dark cream contour, I'm using the Sosie Jackson contour stick. Um, this is in shade Cool. So this is really blendable. I know a lot of you are quite scared of using cream contour. I was, what I do is I just kind of do like little dots just in the, by your hairline. And then with your jawline, just do a few dots there. And on the other side. And then underneath your nose, a little line there. And then you just want to do a little drops of it around the edge of your hairline. And then underneath your lip, to make them look a bit bigger. And that is it for the dark contour. So now we are going to blend that in with a brush. So I'm literally just using a Peaches and Cream brush, um, PC15. I love these brushes, they're like my favorite brushes at the minute. So as you can see, it's so blendable, it's so nice. You can use a beauty blender, but I just find like cream contour blends better when you use a brush. So I'm just going to use this little Morphe M173 brush um, and this is just going to buff out the nose area. You yeah, want to have a good nose contour, it completely like changes the shape of your face I think. So now we are literally going to move on to the powdered contour. So the first thing I'm going to use is my favourite, um, it's the Butter Bronzer. I have only got this in one shade, I could probably do a darker shade just because I've tanned but I'm sure if I like, with this it's really good with like building it up. I'm using a BH Cosmetics number no. 4 and um, I love using like more of a dense brush for this butter bronzer and I just concentrate on the areas closer to my hairline just because it comes up a bit darker and you can press it into the skin. So I'm going to start with my cheekbones. I'm just using a circular motion. For translucent powder, I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent. So when using this powder, I literally just tap a bit into the lid. And then I use, you can use the same Beauty Blender or another one. Um, I just use the same. And I just use this end. And I just press it in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it in under my eye. So 
so what I like to do is I like to use the other end of the beauty blender and get a bit on the edge like that and I just bring it where I did that contour uh, concealer and just follow that line there. The reason why I do this is because I like to give that proper sharp contour of the eyes so that they look really lifted and I use the same side and do my jawline. And then don't forget the forehead as well. And I use this side. So with my baking, I don't really leave it on for too long. And especially if you're doing this kind of look, you don't want to leave it on too long because it doesn't mattify too much. So I just use a big fluffy brush and just sweep it away. Now I'm going to use the Miss Lynn bronzer in shade Barbados Bay. And I'm just going to use this to darken right at my hairline. Um, I'm not going to use too much. I just want to darken the bits that I went over with the uh, butter bronzer. So all around the hairline. So I'm just going to use this just to contour my nose a little bit more. And I'm using a Morphe M431 and it's just got like a little tip on it. But I'm putting the tiniest bit of product on and then just literally using the side of the brush. So that is my nose contoured now. So now my nose looks snatched. I'm gonna use the Sochi Jackson Contour Kit again. And I'm just gonna use that on my eyelids and I'm gonna use a Zueva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. Um, and I'm just gonna like kind of flick the brush on top. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like, not even neatly, I'm just going to buff this onto my eye. And um, this is just going to contour my eye area and just give it a bit of depth. And what you want to do is just bring it out onto your temples as well. So for um, the next colours on my eyes, I'm going to use the Morphe 25A palette. I literally love this palette. Um, I was having a clear out of my beauty room and I found it and was like, oh my god, like one of my favourite palettes. Like I literally, this is a new one because I had an old one that I used so much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start using this now when I can. Um, obviously when we all get out of quarantine, I can actually start <laughs> painting people's faces again. So I'm literally just going to go in with like this warm tone here first and I'm using the same brush again. We are just going to bring, like blow that out onto the temples again. So I'm just going to darken the crease a little bit still using the same brush and I'm going to use like a warm brown so I'm going to use this colour and I'm just going to apply this in the crease back and forth my shades for the um, pigment on the eye um, I'm going to use the peach and cream glitter lace and I'm going to use a pea size amount on the back of my hand and I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to get all of my brush and just pat that over the lid. You can be messy with this um, because we're going to put the glitter on a little bit messy too. I'm going to use a mixture of three of the peach and cream pigment. So I'm using Wow Hustle and a bit of nude as well just to mix it up. Hustle looks like that. And then you've got Wow, which looks like that. And then you've got a little bit of nude, which looks like that. 
I'm going to use a flat Morphe brush um, M224 just to pack that on the lid. So mix together it looks like that. So I'm just going to pack this on the lid. So I'm patting it on the lid area and then I'm just going to use a fluffy brush just to buff it out. Got a little bit of fallout guys so I'm just going to use a brush just to sweep that away and what you can do is you can use the fluffy brush and just kind of scatter a little bit on there instead of using the flat brush and what I do is I just like gently blend this out onto my temples how beautiful are these colours together so nice a little bit on the inner corner just to brighten that inner corner up and what else I'm going to do on the inner corner just on top of that pigment just to make it look really brighter um, I've, which I love is the P. Louise pigment in shade gold digger so it literally looks like that next step is doing the liner on the lid but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the LA Easy Glide gel liner and I'm going to smoke it out with some black eyeshadow and I'm going to go in with the Morphe palette again but the black shade that we've got in there which is this one and I'm using a Zueva Smudger 225 slightest bit so it's a little bit faint just with the eyeshadow I didn't apply the liner with this but I'm just using the brush just to like drag that out a little bit as you can see just so it gives it a little bit of a cat eye songs in my head. I literally have not stopped singing it. I think it's from where I've been on TikTok so much. <sighs> Next I am going to put some mascara on. So I'm using the L'Oreal Paradise Waterproof Mascara. Um, my lashes are a bit sparse though because I had individuals on before we went into quarantine and I soaked them off and like there's literally like nothing left. Um, so I'm only going to put a little bit on so that the lashes can stick to them. And then lashes, we are going to use TL Mitchell 2. Love these lashes, they are so full and fluffy. Um, and for like these kind of looks as well, they just look insane. I haven't my fan on for once, guys. I've opened the window, it seems all right so far, but um, it normally gets like a sweat box in here. Um, so hopefully this will be better because in all my videos all you can hear is my bloody fan in the background. I literally have no lashes left, this is so depressing. I do not see anything happening with these lashes. I feel like they're a lost cause. Um, so I can't wait to have individuals back after this is all over. I'm gonna stick the first lash on. Can you see how I'm feeling myself, guys? It just looks in the camera and was like. <laughs> but um, I love these lashes. They're so bloody big, but you know, we do it all for the gram. You know, you gotta have big lashes for the gram. This lash with a guy, I would marry it. Literally, lashes are lice. 
we transform the makeup completely like I hate it when I'm doing my makeup and like I just get really annoyed at myself because I'm looking at it and it just looks so shit and then as soon as you put the lashes on you're like oh it's not that bad I'm literally just blending these together a minute um, if you have acrylic lashes I just find it's really easy just to like pinch them together so that the um your natural lashes just stick to the lashes you've just stuck on they are on bitches i'm gonna use the nyx brow pencil in shade espresso Benefit Gimme Brow in shade 3. I'm literally loving this at the minute just because of like the style of brow. I've got brow lamination. Um, it just gives like the extra depth of texture and different tones of brown in the brow and also sets them in place as well as so it's like a two in one. So I'm gonna use a NYX lip liner now in shade Brooklyn Form. And I'm just gonna lightly put that like underneath and like in my lash line and then I'm going to smudge it out and then put a little bit of eyeshadow on top. A good tip for like doing your um, bottom lash line if you want the eyeshadow to stick, if you use like a light nude colour of a lip liner then that will act like a tacky base so it's really good for making the eyeshadow stick. This is why I am using this method today. I'm going to go back in my Morphe palette and I'm going to use the Zoeva uh, Smudger 225 brush. I'm going to go back in, I'm going to use a mixture of the black and the brown and just mix them together and then just smudge where I've done that NYX liner. Now I'm going to soften the edges of that with a Peach and Creek Peaches and Cream PC07 and I'm going to go in with this warmer colour that we used earlier. I'm going to use the LA Girl Glide Liner. Now my eyes are done, we are going to move on to the stuff that's going to make me look dewy and glowy. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I'm just going to use a little bit of the hot sand colour, this one. I'm going to use the Miss Lina Blusher in shade Be My Flamingo Forever. Um, and I'm just going to flick a bit of this on the cheek area. It is quite pink. Um, I'm only going to use a little bit just because I want this to be more bronzy than um, like showing more of the blush off, you know what I mean. So I'm going to use the, I'm not even going to say this properly, Vita Liberata. Not sure if I said that right, but it's the Body Blur Sunless Glow. It's a self tanning HD skin finish um, in shade Latte. Um, it's basically like body foundation, but it's really good for like making you look glowy. But I just wanted to show you guys this because I bought this recently and I haven't used it. Um, and I'm just going to bring it down on my neck and onto my chest, but I'm only going to buff a little bit because I've already put, you know, um, I've already put fake tan on and. Um, bit of the Huda Beauty on. I'll just put it like that on the back of my hand. Shame to say, as a makeup artist, I don't own any like face spray that's like um that has like a shimmer in it. I'm gonna just use my standard all nighter setting spray, the um, pollution protection one. Um, I'm just going to spray this first, so it makes my face a bit tacky for the highlighter. The highlight I'm using is the Doll Beauty Highlighter, which is like a very much loved palette. 
Um, I'm going to use this colour today, which is Shine Bright. God damn, this highlight at all. I just love this highlight. Oh, it's insane. So, yeah, with this look, don't be shy. Put some more. Hopefully some of you guys will understand when I say that. Um, because we're wanting to look dewy as fuck. So, just go in with this highlighter, that's all I say. Um, just make sure it's really blended out properly. I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin, but not too much. I don't like to put too much on my chin because it makes you look like a sweaty betty. Concentrate, when putting this on, concentrate on your highest point. Here. So when the light hits it, it literally glows. Finally, set it again. So next I'm gonna highlight my chest area just to make it look more dewy. So I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty highlighter again and use the Shine Bright. For lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX lip balm that I used earlier under my eye in Brooklyn Fawn. Um, I'm just going to line my lips, like not too much because I've had my lips done so I don't really need to overline them too much. And then I'm going to use the Urban Decay Lipstick in Shade Fuel. It's my favourite at the minute. Um, now that I've done my lipstick, I'm going to add gloss. So I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Gloss um, in Shade Fenty Glow. So this is the makeup done, I am absolutely obsessed, like I'm so tanned, I'm dewy, I'm glowy and like these colours on my lid have just brought out the blue in my eyes as well. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy, I think this is literally like one of my favourite looks I've done on myself. So guys, I've just wet my hair for this look, I'm really, really happy with this look, how it's come out. Um, it's probably would be one of my go-to looks if I wanted to go really glam on a night out. Also don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and click the like button and the bell to notify you when I next upload. And follow my Instagram page as well, Lauren Lymph Beauty X. And just wanted to say I hope you all you guys are well um, with everything that's going on. Fingers crossed things take a turn and get better. Um, but if you all could just please stay home. But yeah, um, this is the final look, guys. Bye.